Doctors at Children's Hospital Oakland say that the health of their facility has been going downhill since they partnered up with UCSF Benioff. They claim that UCSF is diverting badly needed resources to its other campus in Mission Bay. KPI X5's Dot Lynn live in Oakland where staffers say they feel like second class citizens. Dot? That's right, Alan. Many doctors here in Oakland say the merger with UCSF has been a very bad deal for people here in the East Bay. They accuse UCSF of stripping vital services from Oakland and funneling them to San Francisco, but hospital leaders say those allegations are false. Yeah, we, we are seeing patients disappear. We're seeing medical programs disappear. We're seeing doctors disappear, and the morale has never been lower. And that's all due to what again? What's driving it, I can only imagine, is this sense of instability for the future. Mm -hmm. And also a feeling of being ignored, silenced, and even disrespected. Dr. Stephen Long is painting a dire picture of UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, Oakland. He says since partnering with UCSF in 2014, families have been finding it very hard to see, for example, mental health doctors and lung specialists. Instead, he says those East Bay families are being forced to drive longer and funnel to the Children's Hospital in San Francisco. It was sold to us as a marriage uh, where both parties would be stronger because of the union. We've seen very much the opposite. It feels at times like we're Cinderella. Um, kind of the stepchild. As a result, he says the Oakland Hospital is seeing an 11% drop in inpatient visits. But Dr. Michael Anderson, who's overseeing both hospitals, says the inpatient decline is a national trend. They're instead seeing an increase in outpatient visits. Since UCSF has affiliated with Oakland Children's, we've grown services. We've brought services in orthopedics. We've grown the heart center. We brought ENT, ear, nose, and throat surgeons. So I understand that change is tough, um, but I also want to set the record straight that UCSF is dedicated to both sides of the bay. He says claims of mismanaging the Oakland Hospital and funneling patients to San Francisco are not true. He points to the brand new outpatient facility in Oakland. That center would not, repeat, would have not been possible if it wasn't for UCSF coming together in affiliation. Hospital, hospital leaders say the allegations might be motivated by the ongoing contract negotiations. They released this statement here, this five-page fact sheet, basically countering all of those allegations. As for the doctors, they say it's not about the money. They say they want to warn the public about the dire situation here. Live in Oakland, I'm Dahlin, KPIX5.